Go. Ready? All right. Kitchen dual cloth, scrubby side, oil, grime, lifter. This is all I'm going to use to wash my dishes. Cold water. This is for Diane, by the way. So I wet my fiber, squeeze it out a little bit. Usually I try to roll it, take out all the excess water, go like that. Nice and cold. So then I start with my dishes. If you want to have a little running water, if there's a little bit too much um, stuff inside your dishes, you can run a little water and then you just rinse it. See how nice and clean that is? So now I'm going to show you. Someone put peanut butter and cinnamon on there. So watch. Do you see where the peanut butter and the cinnamon is? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep washing my cutlery. This was from my soup last night. Look at all the dirt on here. So you can use this glove because it's a larger size and you can do all your dishes. That's what I do. Like that. See all that? None of that I dirt is going walking. on the other one. I can keep washing. No, nothing is going on there. It all, it all stays in here. So this is what I do to wash. Look at that. Look at it. Butter. I'm only going to do this part here and then I'll do my other dishes afterwards to show you and to show you the difference. So now, I'm going to do this bowl, this white bowl, and show you how. Do you see anything in there? Do you see that the peanut butter and the cinnamon and the butter are still in here? So now I'm going to rinse everything off and show you how to clean off the fiber. So I like to put a little bit of warmer water to rinse off my things. So this was the last thing that I washed. Can you hear that squeaky clean? Do you see that there's no peanut butter, no butter, no cinnamon, nothing on here? So it's clean. Then I rinse off the rest of my cutlery. Show you. Nice and clean. Spoon. Nothing. Cutlery. Nothing. Now, this is my favorite part. This is what I love. So I'm going to squeeze out the spoon. And in this bowl, I'm going to turn on the hot water. And now I'm going to squeeze out the water from here. As you can see, there's not too much there. So now I'm going to use my annual foamer. And I just sort of rub it and massage it. The same thing as I did with the iPads. Go like that. And then I fold it over. And I sort of rub it in. And then I squeeze it. Wow. Look at all that. Is that amazing? One wow. more time. So wow. the dirt from my dishes was in my fiber. And by using this little foamer, last night I cleaned my stove, so there's a little bit of residue here from my stove. So just rub it in. A little hot water. Final rub. There's the dirt. That's it. So it's that easy. Now, the cloth that I used earlier to wash the counter, I'll do the same thing. So when I'm done washing all my dishes, I put a little bit of foamer, put a little hot water, I wring it in like that. So now let's dump this and see what we've got out of this little fiber. So this is the one that I did with my counter. So there wasn't too much dirt because it's mostly crumbs, but as you can see, whatever was on my fiber is now here in the water and it's that easy. So 
The Duo Kitchen Cloth, this one is great for scrubbing. I'll show you in my cold water. My pot, look at my pot, how dirty this is. So I use this side here because it picks up on any uh, dirt and stuff that's inside my pot. I do the outside. And then I do a final rinse on the inside with the other side of the fiber, like that, so I can get all the oil and grime from here. Rinse with hot water. Squeaky clean. All done. That's it. So that was a little rundown on the two fibers. When I'm done washing the dishes, always dry with the annual fill. The annual fill will take away all the water marks because we have no soap here, we have water. So we're going to take away all the water to make sure that there's nothing left for any growth of bacteria or anything like that. So you're just gonna wipe it up like that. Here's the bowl. I love this bowl because I love seeing the difference between the dirty and the clean. Just do that. Take away all that water because that water is just going to sit there. There we go, all done. Squeaky, squeaky clean. That's it.